EDC fans rejoice and what's up to all you JD aliens out there. Now, this bag, I'm still toting this thing around. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is my favorite everyday carry bag. It's, it's my Merce, my man bag. I cannot leave home without this bag, mainly because it has my keys and wallet in it. Don't wanna really go nowhere without that, but also because it's awesome. <laughs> I did a video on this bag and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are loving this bag after seeing that video because it's just that awesome. But the stuff that goes in the bag is just as important as the bag. So we're gonna scoot this to the side because we're gonna dig into it just a little bit. EDC is everyday carry for those of y'all who don't know. And you know, I, I, I was carrying around this, uh, check this out, Wilson. So I was carrying around this, um, this Leatherman right here because every once in a while, man, you got a screw, okay? <laughs> you got that screw and you just don't have a screwdriver. Or maybe you need some pliers and need to pinch something or twist something off. Or maybe you need a little pocket knife or something. You know what I mean? You need to, you know, slice something or somebody up, you know, because they, they've been acting a fool or something. You know what I'm saying? What else is in here, man? We got, a, you know, a bottle opener. We got a file and I don't know what the hell you use that for, but it's on there. You know what I'm saying? The only problem with this thing is it weighs a little bit, man. It's stainless steel and it does have some heavy weight to it. And it's just because of the way it's a bulky item. So I was scrolling down Instagram, man and I saw this carabiner <laughs> from GPC. Oh man, I saw this carabiner. I was like, man, that is cool as hell. I got to have one of those things. So I reached out to uh, GPC and I said, hey man, I got to have one of those carabiners. And they said, you know what, JDL, we gonna spot you a carabiner because we want the world to see the GPC. I'm sorry, it was GPCA, GPCA carabiner clip. Man, look at this thing, man, this is awesome. Okay, so this is an option. This red right here, this red um, barrel right here, this is an option that you can add on to it. You got three different materials to choose from, and that's aluminum, this one is stainless steel, and then there's a titanium. But I wanna tell you right now, this has actually replaced my Leatherman. No, it does not have pliers on it, but we got everything else. Check this out, man. Get in a little closer, dude. You gotta get in a little closer. Okay, so first of all, you unscrew this barrel right here. This is a lock, you know what I'm saying? So if you clip it onto something and you need it to lock, go ahead and spin it up just like that and it is locked in place. You see there's a little lock right there. But if you bring this down by unscrewing it and then push it in like that and then spin it back up, you're gonna get a little secret compartment. You see that right there? That is the secret compartment. You can put a piece of flint in there or you could put a little note in there if you want to, just in case like, you know, you get dismembered and somebody needs to find you, you can put your name and social security number in there like a military dog tag. GPCA actually graced me with the message. It says, adventure never ends, mark yours, GPCA. That's right, adventure never ends. So let's go ahead and adventure on into looking at this a little bit more. So we've taken this off. Let me put it back on because I like that red, man. So as I get this barrel back on here, man, I'm gonna tell you right now, spin the extra bread and level yours up with this red barrel. It just brings the heat to it, man. That is fire right there. I love it. Okay, so everything is high quality machinery, man. It's, you know, it's, it's man, it's so high quality from the moment I picked it up. It feels like Leatherman, but you know, it's a little bit lighter because it's a, you know, it's not a solid shape, but you can get the three different materials and the aluminum is gonna be the lightest, but it's also gonna be the weakest. Stainless steel is gonna be one of the stronger of the three. And then of course you got the titanium, but the stainless steel is probably gonna be the heaviest one of the three but it's definitely still lighter than my uh, Leatherman. And I keep bringing up the weight because it's everyday carry. You don't wanna start adding up a bunch of weight as you're carrying your stuff. Let's go on to these screws, man. All these screws can actually come out and they do give you a key for it. It's a star, I believe. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, I can see that. It's a star, okay? So they do give you a key for it. They got a bigger one and a smaller one. I don't even know what size that is, but they all come out. And I took this one out. Matter of fact, let me show you in the box. Let me show you, man. So in the box, you got your key right there and then you got some extra bushings for inside of here inside of this um, little swivel joint right there. You get some more bushings just in case yours wear out. And then there's that, that barrel with the screw. So you can actually take that out of there. I took it out because I wanted to use it for a keychain. Now I'll take it off my keys just for noise sake and move around to the back side of this thing, this flat edge. See right here, that is, I wouldn't call this a knife. It does have a double edge on it, but it's not sharp enough to be considered a knife, I would say, but it will cut a box. So if you need to cut a box or, you know, open up a box or something like that, this will do the trick. And it is sharp enough to hurt somebody. So, hey, let it be known. <laughs> you do, you fold this in right there just like that, just to get it to go inside, just, just 
like a regular pocket knife. And then we move around to the other side where we have some key elements, man. You're a little bit far back. So let me bring you in just a little bit there. So right here, this is what got me, man. You got the screwdriver right there. You got the Phillips head. And then when you flip it on the other side, you have the flathead screwdriver right there. Now that is clutch. You got both tools right there, just like the Leatherman. Then if we come around the other side, we have a prying tool and a bottle opener. One, one side is gonna be a prying tool and the other side is gonna be a bottle opener. It really depends on which way you're pivoting this thing. On this side, I think this is the bottle opener. And then if you pivot it the other way, you're gonna get that prying tool. So you got two in one right there. But due to the sheer size and construction of this thing, it is big enough for you to fit four fingers in there and curl them around just like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Without saying what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so if you had to, you know, if you find yourself in a pinch, man, and you got to do some self-defense and you're not carrying your piece or, you know what I'm saying? Somebody catch you slipping. You can quickly reach for your keys or your Caribbean or if they're separate, slide your fingers in there and you can fend off the bad guy. But on a lighter note, the sheer utility of this thing is just clutch. You can, it's a carabiner clip, so it will go anywhere with you and it will travel well. I've been packing it around for about a week and I absolutely love it. I love the slim form factor and I can absolutely feel the reduction in weight when I compare it to this uh, this Leatherman right here, which is a great tool to keep on your person. It's just, you know, it's, it's a little chunky. So as far as everyday carry, man, this is a must have it on your person at all times. You either putting your keys on it, you can actually, you know, if you want to, you can just loop your keys through here and put that on your belt loop if you're one of those guys. Me, I just kind of put mine right there, shove it in my man bag. But since we're talking about GPCA as a company, I don't know how old this company is, man. I know they make a lot of Jeep stuff. And I know they got those grab handles and stuff like that. Cool stuff. I don't own a Jeep, but if I did, I'm absolutely positive I'd be getting up all their stuff. And this right here says move before adventure. I don't think I want to move this. I don't, <laughs> this is actually a cool uh, key tag right here. So what I wanted to show you, the reason why I got this box right here is because they also have this awesome straight up fire pin. So let me dig into my man bag again, pull out this bolt action pin, dude. Look at this. Look at this, man. This is a thing of beauty. It says GP 1945. Is that pro? Yeah, I can't read. Man, my eyes getting bad. I'm getting old. GP 1945 Pro. <laughs> now, this pen is nice, man. Machined aluminum. It's got a good hand weight to it, man. And check this out. The reason why they call it a bolt action pen is because it's constructed like you retract and uh, push out the pen, kind of like a bolt action rifle. Check this out. <laughs> oh, is that sweet or what? You see that, homie? Look at that. Oh man, that's that bolt action right there. And it's not just old, you know, cheap old pin either. Let me unscrew this and show you what kind of pin we're working with because this is actually a cartridge that you can replace. This says GP22. So if you want to replace the cartridge on this thing, keep using it forever, you can replace it with a GP22 cartridge. So here, let me just slide this back in here and get it all set up. Just give you a quick writing sample. I'm left-handed and I have awful handwriting. I have the handwriting that qualifies me to be a physician, but I'm not that smart. So let me just sign my autograph and you should subscribe. <laughs> to the channel. <laughs> Hey man, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is, is GPCA is making some great quality EDC products, man. I'm happy to have mine and I'm gonna stuff them right back in my man bag and going about my business. <laughs> Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Is this not why you are here?